Let's begin with two cordless drills. Here's a good working orange drill. But the battery's dead, so I've got it hooked up to a, another battery here. It's got fine torque control. It's got a metal chuck which is removable. And then at the front there, there's a screwdriver attachment. Here's a fake Makita drill. It's got a good battery, but there's a problem with the trigger. The trigger keeps running. It's also got no reverse gear. Wouldn't it be good to have a good battery on the orange drill? The Firestorm battery is no longer available. I could repack the cells, but I lost the charger as well. Makita batteries are easier to buy and I have the charger. Wouldn't it be good if the orange drill could fit the Makita battery? We want the Makita connection. This is the faulty trigger mechanism. We need to cut here. Remove the broken trigger. We want the Makita connector. Salvage the Makita connector. Section the fake Makita. The cut must be high enough to include the connector. This is the battery connector section we want. Let's see what's inside the orange drill. Inside is a large heat sink. Remove the heat sink. The heat sink can later be relocated. Work out where the new battery will attach. Get the wires out of the way. Align the battery section so it is parallel to the orange drill base. We need the base parallel so the new drill will stand up. Align the cut and trim the orange drill handle. Reassemble the two halves and trim the other side. We are careful not to cut the wires or the fingers either. The new base will attach here. Right. Use some stainless mesh. Looks pretty bad from the side. Align the two pieces. Start melting the mesh into the plastic. Even dissimilar plastics can be joined with this method. Strike while the iron is hot. You will need patience to be able to handle it. Use your dental mixing spatula to hold the mesh in place. Spatula is held to prevent the mesh springing up as the plastic cools. Once it's been welded around, you take it apart. 
weld the mesh on the inside as well. Pretty strong. Now the heat sink is trimmed to fit. Test all the functions. Yep, still works. Use Sikaflex polyurethane to blend in the handle. The join line between the halves can be cut with a blade when it's set, so you can still take it apart. Detergent and water on a gloved finger is used to smooth the Sikaflex. Let the Sikaflex dry and remove the tape over the screw hole. Thanks for watching.